Hello guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna show you how to make your own theme in Shell Shockers. So as you can see in my background, I got my own theme ready with um, incognito mode in the back and all these colors for the boxes and all that. Yeah, I like to keep it that way. So anyway, let's get started. Testing, testing, one, two, three, three, four. Okay, so hello guys. Today we're going to see how to install. No, not install. Make our own show shockers theme. Like your own custom theme, not like from Greasy Fork or whatever. So, all you have to do is go to Chrome Web Store and install Tampa Monkey. Let's get that out, out of the way. Tampa Monkey. Yeah, this one. And then what you do is go to the dashboard by going here and clicking dashboard. And you should see this page. Create a new script by this. And yeah just copy paste the link i sent you in the description here and this is for shell shockers if uh, if you want uh, uh, to so as you can see it's uh, going for shellshock.io if you use anything other than shellshock.io like biogclass.club or something then you just um co the copy then match over here match and then put spaces and cdps class dot club and then just put a star there and yeah so as you can see shellshock is pretty well not boring it's not boring it really isn't i guess probably because um I didn't save this yet okay now yeah I've been redoing this so it's boring right now but you will see how to change the textures and everything like you saw before so first off go to scroll down and go to this main background and just delete everything from there um and then if you want it to be like a gradient type of style then this is linear gradient so you can put as much colors as you want so what you do is go to hex color picker on google and just pick a color i'm going to do this color um and yeah just pick as many colors as you want this is linear gradient so you don't have since this is linear gradient so you don't have to only put one you can put multiple colors multiple and yeah just do that and put as much colors as you want and then save and now if we look at shell shockers now it's got a cool design to it but Here's something else if you just want to be one color then you remove the linear gradient and the parentheses make it a I don't know red it's pretty boring like that um, um, I think that's how you do it yeah if you wanna just one color then just do that if you're a boring guy but i'm not doing that control c control c control c anyway i'm gonna keep it like that for now but if you want it to be like a image wait i should point out something else you can also put how many percent of the color you need uh, need in it so i need 40 percent on that um 40% of that. I need that for like 10% uh, 
and I need that for also 10% and just save and I think that should work hmm no it doesn't we'll get that more to that later um does it come does it come to see safe okay anyway so yeah a URL so if you want a Google image by the way this does not work on file images you just go background color like any image you want I will pick this actually this I like this one and just copy the URL so copy image address and come over here to the main background delete everything except for this here and you just type URL and then bracket um, parentheses and then that and then again parentheses bracket and that should work shell shock and as you can see the background has changed into this image probably doesn't work well yeah, kind of. so yeah you can do that I'm keeping it like this for now so but this one problem though I come over here it's all like this but what about these this here this here this boxes what do I do with those well these are actually the ones here the white text the yellow buttons the lighter box borders the blue subtitles and dark box borders yeah so you can change that as well instead of white I will make that um, sort of then just turn that into that and if we refresh as you can see it should have changed no oh I didn't save it yeah you you need to remember to save it oh yeah and I changed the background too and as you can see it's changed the white the white text it's all changed everything white is changed and you can play with that the yellow buttons all the yellow buttons here and there you can play with that as well i will put that as like a purplish color i need to i need it to be light so i can see the text save and reload got five minutes and it's changed um lighter box borders so he means these so you can pick any color from that i'll make that a oranges color so lighter box borders is that and the blue subtitles so he means like these here the blue subtitles and all that and the borders so I will make that more readable like a light color yellow who doesn't like yellow and then just copy that paste save ignore the crosshair and you can see it's changed um, the borders are red they're more readable and they also work in game oh, God. they also work in game you can check it out 
um waiting 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 yeah so you go in and just kill someone or get killed you will see that the texts are blue too and so is it when we get killed i think yeah um and the top and everything is also yeah see all the blue and that so yeah that's almost it um hope you enjoyed the video um i guess i will see you guys in the next Thank you.